Hello, SysFerry here again, and today we're looking at Snapshot 14W29A. Now, this particular snapshot is mostly bug fixes and performance improvements, uh, apparently, as there's, well, there's, as per usual, there's some debate out there on that. There's not really a whole lot in the way of features, so I'll just cover the few things that there are. Uh, the scoreboard sidebar, which pops up on the sorry, right hand side of the screen, that's now also apparently secondarily, sec secondarily, we'll get that word out, secondarily sorted by alphabetical order. I wasn't aware that it wasn't previously, but it apparently it is now. Uh, also, the F's free screen with all this various information on it. There is a game rule called Reduced Debug Info, which allows uh, sort of maps and servers, etc., to reduce the information shown on here. So it might be useful if you try to limit what people can actually see uh, on your server or your map. But there's nobody stopping people re enabling it client side. So it's not a massive thing, to be honest, but it's there. Performance wise, there's also ore generation. It says it's now more than twice as fast. It apparently takes 96 milliseconds to generate the ore in 30,000 chunks, which, to be honest, is a hell of a lot of chunks. Previously, it was something like 250, 300 milliseconds, round about that area. Doesn't sound a lot, but when you're going through that many chunks, and each chunk's... I don't know if they mean vertically, the entire thing, or if it's a 16 by 16 by 16. Either way, it's useful. Uh, the other thing they've added, and you're going to have to take my word for this because recording kills my frame rate as of the past few snapshots. I don't know why. I don't know if it's Minecraft. I don't know if it's DX Story. But here I have a frame rate of about 40 odd frames a second. I turn DX Story off and that's easily well over 100. So I'm not quite sure what's causing that. Uh, oops, that's my inventory. But the extra bit that they've added is in the video settings. Now, I've got my frame rate limited to 120, but as you saw, it was still only 40 odd. If I turn the XORI off, I will be getting 120. Uh, in fact, in the right areas with that unlimited, I can push at least three, 400, something like that. Now, it's this bit down here, which is use VBOs on. That's a vertex buffer objects. It's supported by most newer graphics cards. And with that on, in most cases, you should get a higher frame rate. Some people are saying that they don't. With this currently turned on, um, the area I'm standing in at the moment, I get a frame rate of 189 frames a second, roughly. Turning it off, I get about 134 in this particular area. So that's with, uh, as you can see, quite a lot going on and all these various multi-layered leaves and everything. So, in my case, it gives a pretty nice improvement. I don't usually notice it because I already have a large frame rate when I'm not recording. People with much lower frame rates might notice an extra few sort of frames a second and that could make all the difference for whether it's playable or not. Final sort of thing, we all know breaking a block like this, quite frankly should have brought a pick, but it does a little breaking animation. Same with the mushroom block down there. These previously didn't. Well, they've now got consistency and these also break as well. So if we have a go at the chest. Oh, there it goes. And the sign. And finally, even the heads. This is definitely what you call a splitting headache. Boop. So that's just a little extra consistency thing. But that's it. As it says, it's... Uh, Bug fixes, performance improvements, and we're on our way to 1.8. So, as per usual, thanks for watching and bye bye. Hello, Sisfo here again, and welcome to my brand new Ultimate Command series. Um, the whole point of this series is for those people who want to play with the various commands available in Minecraft and really don't know what to do with them, which makes sense because it's getting quite convoluted.